All right, I am ready to do my paper, my cup weaving. So the first thing you'll want to do is pick a skein or ball of yarn, multicolored yarn. So you either have a ball like this or a skein like this, uh, and it doesn't really matter which one, they both work the same. One thing to note is that balls of yarn are nice so that you can like pull the yarn and it comes off in a ball. And if you're not using that much, you would wrap it back up. Uh, for skeins of yarn, it could either be, there could be a long thread in the middle that you're pulling, uh, or there might be one on the outside that you're pulling. And it doesn't really matter which one, you just want to make sure the one that you're not using is sort of wrapped up out of your way. And then the one that you are using uh, is ready to go. So I'm going to use a ball just for this demo video. And your first job is to find the tail, which is the cut part of the yarn. We never cut yarn in the middle to just make our own tail because that actually destroys the yarn ball because it puts a cut in the middle instead of at an end. So you just have to find the one that's already there. And I promise there's one there. If you need help finding it, please let uh, someone know and I can help you or your neighbors can help you even. Then you will have a roll of tape at your table and you'll want to tear off a little piece. It doesn't take very much. And you're going to stick the yarn in the middle of that tape. You guys see that? And I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to tape it to the very bottom of my cup. And that yarn tail is going to then come out through one of those slits that I made in my cup. And the process for this now is pretty easy. The job is just to go over a slit, under a slit, or on top, underneath, on top, underneath. It's the same pattern that we have been using with paper weaving. So that's why we do that project first. So we go, oh, it gets a little tricky, but we can do it. So you see my cup is on the, um, my yarn is coming out. So now I'm gonna go to the next slit and have it go in, kind of behind that one. And then it comes out. I go to the next slit and have it go in and then come back out, okay? So it just goes in and then out. So you can see that pattern happening. So it's on top, underneath, on top, underneath, on top, underneath. So as I go in and out, it makes that over under pattern on the cup. So you can just kind of check for yourself to see if you've got it right. And when you get back to the beginning, believe it or not, you just keep going. You don't change your pattern. You just keep going over under. But as you do the, the next row, because we have an odd number of these flaps, as you do the next row, it's going to all of a sudden do the opposite pattern, which is going to create a tight woven cup or basket for you guys. So as you go, you just sort of want to be scooching that yarn down to the bottom and you don't need to be pulling it so tight. Do you see when I'm pulling it really tight right here? My cup is sort of warping in. I don't need to do that. I don't need to pull it so tight that it's warping the cup. Just pull it taut, but not tight. That's a new word. That word means uh, like firmly, but not like so much that it's buckling. So that's what the word taut means. Like there's some tension, but it isn't so much. So as you do your third row, you're gonna have two rows there. So I'll just show how to do this weaving for a little while on super speed. 